This is a Fox News alert. We are awaiting a Senate vote on a deal to reopen the government and raise the debt ceiling. We're going to bring it to you as soon as it happens. But right now, Republican Congressman Louis Gomer joins us. Nice to see you, sir. It's good to see you, Greta. Okay, you'll be voting in, on the House side later tonight. Uh, yes or no, will you be voting? I'll be voting no. And uh, how many no's do you think you'll have along with you? I, I don't know. It, it was not whipped uh, when we... Uh, when we left conference, so I really don't know. It doesn't take that many, uh, you know, 218, actually 217 because we're missing three members. So, uh, but then again, yesterday morning, um, we were called in for a conference. We were told, here's what we're voting on. We hadn't whipped it. And uh, then later they find out, wow, we got too many no's. But when, if, if uh, the Democrats all vote for the deal, as I would expect most of them to do, then it wouldn't take that many. Why, why are you opposed? To, I mean, like you know, the government shut down, and we're running up against a debt ceiling, and you you pretty much have you know a little bit of a, you know a gun to your head on this one. Uh, on the debt ceiling, of course, they're saying October seventeenth, but Greta, the interest payments not due until the end of the month, and then there's a bigger one November fifteenth. So you think that but, in the meantime, you could like you could you guys could come some sort of agreement between now and that time? Greta, the thing is. They didn't want an agreement, and that is what is abundantly clear. We had four things that we sent down, and when the last thing you send before the government really gets shut down, at 1 a.m. we passed the bill that said, okay, okay, that we capitulate, here's our conferees. All you have to do, Harry Reid, is appoint conferees as the Constitution, law, and rules require, and then we have something worked out. He didn't want it because they knew the mainstream media would back them, blame it on Republicans. We were ready. We were offering uh, bills, and all they would ever say is no, no, no. That's not working on an agreement. They did it for mm. political reasons. Well, Congressman, I know you have to go vote. It's going to be over on the House side very shortly, so thank you for joining us. You're going to be voting soon. It's more breaking news coverage from Capitol Hill to the White House next.